guys, this is Lollipop and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So in today's video, we are going to be covering all of my top 10 favorite mods for the month of May. These are all mods that I've had in my game for at least like a month or two. Um, so I've really like tested them out on like, you know, seeing if I liked them, seeing if there was just seeing if there was anything, you know, anything that I could critique on the mods, anything that I'd like to be improved, anything I want to warn you guys of when you download or anything like that. This is going to be all covering like gameplay and realistic mods. Uh, that's pretty much the way I like to play my game. In fact, I've done a bunch of these other videos as well like top 10 uh, mod reviews and uh, top 10 uh, gameplay mods so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out it'll be in the top right hand eye so you can go ahead and uh, check that out and you can check out all my other mods so for all the links to the mods I will go ahead and include the links in the description so you guys can go ahead and check all of these out but let's go ahead and jump right into the mods I'm super excited to go ahead and jump into the first mod which I want to show you so the first mod that we're going to be covering is the Carl's gameplay overhaul mod this mod is by Carl's guy and again, I will include a link to it in the description. So this mod covers a bunch of different things. Honestly, it's a really extensive mod, but it mainly makes The Sims 4 harder, which um, is something that I've been looking for for a very long time in The Sims 4. Some really interesting features that it includes is actually burglars. Um, now there was burglars in The Sims 3, but there was never, there's never ever been any burglars in The Sims 4. Um, but Kara actually made them and they're really, really good. They work really well. Um, so you can actually, uh, you can get burglar alarms, uh, your dogs can actually attack and, and, and scare the burglar off as well. They can be, the burglars can be stopped in 20 different ways. Uh, but one of the ways that I know for sure is that your sim can actually beat them up. And if they win, uh, the burglar will actually stop and then they'll, you know, they'll have to leave. Um, but if your sim actually fails, then the burglar will take more things. There's also a fishing reloaded portion of the mod, which basically overhauls the whole of fishing. Um, it makes it so that it's, um, that all fish require uh, different types of bait. A fish can hate bait. Uncommon and rare fish uh, are valued more. So you can actually use fishing as like a, as a job as well now. And uh, also fish remain fresh for much longer, which is really useful for eating them as well. There's a bunch of relationship fixes and, you know, changes. There's an option on Sims where you can just tell them to like leave a conversation, which is so useful, let me tell you. <laughs> There's also uh, a change with dating where um, it's more difficult for your Sims to actually like date somebody and meet them and, you know, befriend people in general. Because in the Sims 4 game right now, it's just it's so easy to make friends. It's a little too fluffy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's too like, it's too nice. It doesn't happen like that in real life. <laughs> Uh, there's also a bunch of changes with uh, careers which have difficulty settings to make it harder. There's also calories in food. Um, there's also differences in uh, bills and money. So when you actually earn money for a job, you only get half of the amount of money. Um, but you can go into your uh, mailbox and actually set up all of the uh, all of the cheats. You can just go to your mailbox and set everything up as you want. So you don't have to have all features of the mod, which personally I really, really like because I've got a few of them turned off as well. But yeah, this is a really, really great mod. I definitely feel like it deserves to be included in my top 10 because right now it's one of those mods that I feel like I just can't live without. Second mod is kind of a fix. It's definitely a mod that I feel like you need in your game in order to be able to get the most out of your Sims game. Now, uh, this mod in particular is actually for dine out. So if you guys don't have dine out, then this one will be a skip. But if you guys don't have dine out specifically because you know it doesn't work, then this mod is definitely a game changer. What this mod does is it makes smarter waiters. Uh, you can get your orders more efficiently. So pretty much orders always turn up within about an hour to two hours of your sim sitting down. Uh, your waiters actually dispose of plates. You can fix broken orders and there's also better guest behavior so that guests aren't like walking around all the time. They're sitting a lot more to eat. All I know is that when I go into a restaurant, my sims actually get served their food within about two or three hours of sitting down, which is honestly monumental because most of the time I couldn't send my sims to restaurants because I swear they would not get served. And if you guys have also got dine out, then I would highly, highly recommend. Okay, so next up, this is the Healthcare Redux mod by Adeep Indigo. Um, So this mod is a super, extensive healthcare mod your sims can get illnesses they can get allergies they can get chronic conditions they can also get deadly diseases they can die from there's also prenatal care and postnatal care for sims that have given birth um, and there's also a bunch of new medicines um, that you download and that you're given to your sims to treat these. Um, and there's also a new update with health insurance as well. Your sims might actually get an illness if they're not vaccinated for it. And if that happens, you're going to need to make a, an appointment with your doctor. 
Um, your Sims are then gonna go to their doctor and then be diagnosed with whatever they've got. It might be that they've got like a deadly disease that they might need to be treated for surgery with. So your Sims will go in for surgery, like emergency surgery. Um, or it might just be that your Sims got a sickness that they could be treated with antibiotics or at home care. You have the option to buy the antibiotics or to go straight home. Um, and if you choose to buy the antibiotics, then your Sims uh, go home and take those. And after taking the course of antibiotics for maybe like three days, then your Sim starts to feel better. But they'll have a bunch of moodlets towards it about them coming down with a sickness or them feeling better after they've got rid of the sickness as well. It makes the game so much more interesting. There's like, it adds just some some sort of depth to your Sims, like they can actually get sick. And there's also, um, some of the diseases are actually deadly, so your Sims can die from them. I feel like that's something really interesting to keep on. Like your Sims could actually like die of a sickness if you don't get them treated. I just think that's a really, really interesting dynamic and creates for so much drama and gameplay and realism that it's just something that I feel like I need in my game. So if you guys are the same as me, um, then yeah, definitely download the healthcare Redux mod. Okay, so next up is the education overhaul mod again by AD Bindigo. But this one in particular is a complete overhaul to the education system. There's also an overhaul to the education career as well, um, which completely changes the education career. Um, but personally, I don't have this installed because I have a different career overhaul mod. One of the really cool things that it adds is the ability to send your t toddlers to preschool. You're, you can sign your toddlers up to preschool. So you can go ahead and click the enroll in preschool option and your toddlers uh, can go to preschool at any time during the day. And they'll normally be gone for about seven hours or so. And whilst they're gone, um, their skills will be met. Um, their character values will go up as well. And also their needs will go up as well because obviously they're being uh, looked after at preschool. One of the super interesting things and probably one of my favorite features of this mod is the new education enrollment. So between children and teenagers, they can actually sign up for different schools. Uh, they can sign up for um, like a private school, a specialized school um, or alternative public schools for learning difficulties and behavioral difficulties as well. Your children and your teenagers will have to apply to the school. They'll have to pay the application fee they'll have to complete a personal assessment they'll have to go on a tour and an interview and then after that they'll have to pay the application fee or the submission fee um and then they have to wait for a day or two and they'll find out whether they got submitted into the school if they haven't really got very good skills then they won't be submitted um but if they do then they've got a chance of being submitted um there's also changes to uh grade school and high school homework so when you go ahead and click on the homework, you can see that instead of just doing homework, you can do specific things on your homework and it'll improve specific skills for them as well, which I think is really, really interesting. One of the really nice things is that when you send your students away to school, you can actually click on them and select what you want them to do at school. There's a bunch of different options that your Sims can do, like participating in group work, actively participate, uh, be disruptive, sleep during class, all these other things. Each one gives increased fun uh, or decrease in fun increase in performance uh or your, your sims performance can lower at school uh they can also improve their character values as well some of the options of your sims while they're at school for example copying the homework or being disruptive actually has the chance for your sims to come back with a detention so they could uh, come back with an after school detention which will last for two hours and if your sim does get a detention then their parents will also discipline them when they come out of school as well and tell them off for getting a detention which i think is so cool <laughs> some other interesting things is your sims can also have a chance to go on field trips as well they get little moodlets from going on field trips and there's also some really cool school milestones such as graduation school picture day uh, you can have them take the academic aptitude test which is something that teens can do uh, to see how they're going to do, um, you know, for university. Other than that, this mod works with um, the base game. So it's perfect. Honestly, it's definitely a mod I would highly recommend. So make sure you go ahead and get this one installed and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so this is a fairly new mod that I've actually found. It's called the Sim Nation Travel. Again, it's by Adeep Indigo. It basically makes it so that your Sims have to pay to travel around the world, which I really like. It adds a bit more of a concept that your Sims are driving or traveling somewhere instead of just like, I don't know, walking to a completely different town. So first things first, if your Sims want to take a trip, and by that, I mean, if they want to go on like a vacation or they want to stay in like a rental home, they will need to uh, book plane reservations and also put down a rental deposit. They also will have to go and get their passport uh, to be able to, you know, go to places like uh, Salvadorada or Mount Comorebi. 
your sims will need to obtain a passport they'll have to fill out an application online go to the passport office and they'll have to choose their shipping speed in which they're going to receive the passport uh, it can be between 12 hours or 48 hours they'll have to pay a fee for the passport after then they'll also need to um book their travel reservations and put down the vacation rental deposits when they're paying for their travel reservations they also need to choose whether they're going to play for the economy seating or the first class seating they'll get little uh, buffs as well depending on whether they got travel sick whether they lost their luggage and whilst your sims are actually away on holiday they might get little uh moodlets as well to say that they're enjoying their holiday they're excited whatever it is it's super cute but if your sims are going to be having like domestic travel which is like not having to go on a plane there's only specific towns that they need to be able to get on a plane for um then they'll be able to get a subway pass which they'll be able to uh, use as their transport they'll be able to get a bike or they'll be able to buy a car as well um they'll also need a, a license and a registration to drive the car and the teens can also do driving lessons from the parents um if you do get the car you'll need to uh pay for fuel and maintain it so yeah a bunch of interesting things and i feel like it's a really really good mod okay so next up is the give me some talent mod by fd sims 4 mods so a lot of you guys have asked about this mod in my gameplay or in my streams but what this mod does is it makes your sims naturally good or naturally bad at particular skills your sims might be evil which means that they might be like bad at charisma and things like that there's certain skills that will affect their skills their skills can randomly generate um, and they can also be based on different life stage skills as well like depending on what your sim had as a child or as a toddler what skills uh what skills or traits they had back then uh, toddlers can automatically get some talent traits as well so they might be naturally good at thinking or naturally good at the potty skill things like that depending on whatever trait they've got they can also be you know naturally bad at something like that as well so another thing that toddlers uh, and children will have to do is you will have to work on toddlers and children's skills enough be able to get them into i believe it's like level three or level five otherwise when they become a child or a teenager or an adult they'll actually have a negative uh they'll actually have negative effects in those type of skills so the three different options that that a child can automatically get after aging up from a toddler um so they could get insufficient an insufficient skill an adequate skill or a superior skill superior skill i believe is level five adequate i believe is level three and insufficient is anywhere from like one to two maybe i think it's something like that children obviously as i said can then get uh, different effects from that so depending on whether they was a uh, depending on whether you had your sims work with their toddlers or children on their skills they can be naturally good at things or they can be naturally bad at things when they actually become an adult so yeah i feel like this is a really really important mod to have if you guys really like family gameplay like i do and you also like playing legacy challenges like i do as well um it really adds an effect on whether your sims take care of their toddlers and children uh so depending on how they're going to be raised and yeah of course you can go ahead and download it in the description okay so the first mod that i'm going to be covering is the sn bank bills mod now this mod is a basically a complete revamp of the ea billing system um it splits out water and sewage electricity trash cable internet cell phone and property taxes uh this mod also adds on a bunch of uh government benefits and services such as child support alimony which is where your sims can earn money if there was with like a really rich like if they're married to a really rich sim and there's also a welfare system called the well fund for families where like um you know families that aren't earning enough money can help support their children as well which is really interesting and obviously after um a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks your sim will also have to pay property taxes and the utility bills or they might need to pay their apartment rent whatever you know wherever they're living as well uh there's a lot of different things with this mod and i feel like it completely revamps the way that bills work uh it makes bills a lot more expensive expensive and makes buying a house that like you know is super expensive a lot more uh taxing and a lot more expensive in the long run on a sim which i really really like so i would highly recommend the smb bank bills mod to go alongside the sm bills mod uh, we've also got the sn bank financial center what this does is it actually brings a physical bank to the game so what your sims will do they'll be able to turn up to the bank and you know talk to the receptionist or be able to talk to a loan officer for example they'll be able to take out uh, unsecured loans so they'll have to go through an application process where they talk to the loan officer 
and apply for the loan. Uh, they'll have to ask them how much money they want to borrow. They'll only be able to borrow a certain amount depending on how much income they have coming in. If the sim doesn't pay their loan, they can actually have a repo man come to their house and take their belongings off of them as well. Now, when you're applying for a loan, there's a bunch of different options um, between four weeks, eight weeks and 12 weeks. Obviously, each one has a different percentage rate. So depending on whatever you want to take, you'll end up paying more over the long run. So in order to pay the loan, your sim will need to go to the front reception of the bank um talk to that receptionist and then be able to pay off their loan you'll be able to go in there and pay it off and once you paid off the full amount of the loan obviously you you won't be required to make any more payments and you won't have to worry about getting your stuff taken away from the repo man <laughs> Okay, so my next one up is the Open Love Life mod by Lumpy Lumpinu. I don't know if I'm getting that right. I'm probably butchering it, but I'm hoping that I get it right. <laughs> Either way, what this mod does is it um, adds in different relationship preferences. So when your Sims spawn in, or you load into like a you know a new game or an existing save, your Sims will have spawned in with random preferences between preferring an exclusive relationship and non-exclusive, or either one. Now, depending on if your Sims have the same preference, um, that will all be good. If they don't it can definitely cause for a lot of issues in a relationship. Your sims can actually ask each other to be non-exclusive, which will mean being polyamorous or being in an open relationship. Sims who have the same preferences will be happy to oblige, but actually if your sims have got different preferences, they can actually decline, or if they accept, they can actually be really unhappy about it and, you know, tell them and they get a lot of bad moodlets about it as well. Sims who have ag agreed to be non-exclusive won't show any jealousy of each other unless they have the jealous trait and then they might get, um, they might get jealous sometimes. Your sims can also enthuse about their non-exclusive relationship and mood looks can depend on each sim's preference. They can complain about their non-exclusive relationship. Again, other mood looks confess to feeling jealous. They can ask the other sim if they're having any partners. They can talk about another partner or they can praise or they can praise each lifestyle as well. There's also another relationship type, which is three sims. So it can be an exclusive relationship between all three sims. Your sim can have an exclusive relationship with an approved side lover where their partner's approval they can woohoo with one specified sim without causing any jealousy you can also ask your sim to add a partner which means that all sims will be in a three-way relationship pretty much um, and your sims can also accept or refuse based on the arrangements of their relationship preferences as well one of you, if your sim asks to have a three-way relationship and they accept then uh, they would text the the third sim you know about it and the third sim will also react depending on their relationship preferences as well so this mod i feel like adds a lot it's definitely a recent one that i found but i've been using it and it makes for such such a good gameplay i feel like it's a really really good mod to have all right, so the last mod that I'm going to be covering is the Language Barriers mod by Frank. So what this does is it adds seven different languages. The languages it adds are Simlish, Windenburgish, Salvadoradian, Toki Sulani, Komorebi, Tartosian, and Siksami. And your sims will be assigned a, nat a native language based on their family, whether they're in a cult, their traits, and also where they're living and based on their home world. When your sim, for example, is born in Willow Creek, then they'll always be given the Simlish uh, language which is basically like English. Simlish is almost like English. It covers pretty much all the other worlds. So if your sim tries to talk to somebody who doesn't speak Simlish, so if, for example if your Simlish sim tries to talk to somebody in Salvadoradian or Komorebigo, um, they won't be able to understand and they'll get like little moodlets saying I don't understand this or you know uh, whatever it is like they, they they think that they're speaking like llamas or like a or a refrigerator or something like that. But something really cool is actually if your sims are speaking different languages they can go and ask to speak uh, the same language if that sim knows it or your sim can actually ask to learn off of them so depending on what skill and again you can just check your skill bars for this because the skills go from one to ten will depend on how successful um you know uh relationships go with your sims sims can also learn languages by using sim lingo on their phone on their tablets or on their computers they can also read books and again as i said they can also speak to other sims and um yeah it's definitely been a fun mod to play around with and i, I would highly recommend you guys trying it out and letting me know what you guys think in the comment section so this is it from me today i really really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you enjoy all the mods i've recommended go ahead and let me know what you think of any of them in the comment section below 
Um, if you like them, if you didn't, please go ahead and let me know. And also I probably have one of these coming out for next month as well, if you guys are interested. I'll try and do different mods for every single month so I can cover all the mods that I've currently got in my game that I think are really good gameplay mods that you might, you guys might wanna get a hold of. Uh, go ahead and let me know of any other videos or any other mods you would want me to cover as well. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, evenings. I love you guys and I will speak to you in my very next video. Bye guys.